Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name's Stephanie, this is Fab with Steph and I have an unboxing for you. Surprise! <laughs> um, I have a box from a brand called Girlux who I have previously reviewed. I have my very first ever box from them but it looks a little different now. So this is the box that I got from them this time. The first box I got, if you go back and look, was just a smaller black box and I'd commented and said that I just thought it maybe wasn't as exciting to receive that type of box as it was to receive some of the other birch boxes and um, glossy box you know the, those ones that have all of the really fancy fancy packaging um and this is stunning that's my first impression is this is an absolute gift it doesn't matter if it's full it's more to do with like the sturdiness of the box i don't know why but it was very nicely packaged before this is just an improvement it's the next step um, I actually did a bit of a collaboration and I was sent this as um, a thank you for participating and I may very well be featured shortly on the new website. Um, this brand, this company, is run by a very lovely girl called Holly. Um, so if you do choose to buy from Girlux, you are supporting a small business owner who has really honestly created an incredible business and seen an opportunity that I kind of wish I'd seen <laughs> but less about that let's see what's inside this ribbon is adorable this box smells really nice I hadn't had it this close to my nose before <laughs> um this interesting smell it smells very perfumey okay so opening it up I do really like this box I would love to, I might draw on this and like decorate it and give it to someone like as part of like a gift. Well, not, you know what I mean, wrap the gift in it, not give it as a gift. So this little bit says, uh, welcome to June's box, you glow girl. That seems to be kind of the theme we're entering into summer. So a lot of the boxes that you're getting this month have that kind of vibe, which is amazing. It says beautiful glowing skin is the basis to any look. Enjoy my top seven summer essentials to get your glow on this summer. It won't be long before we can taste the salt in the sea or light up the barbecue, love Holly. So I love that little handwritten note and it's telling me on the back what's inside. <laughs> So the first thing, there's actually a little thing from Elementric Luxury Home Fragrances, which is probably why the box melt vein. So these are little wax melts. Yeah, that's the smell. Mine's are really nice. I don't know if we all got the same. Oh, it's, it's two different ones. Three. There's one called Nye, one that's coconut and hibiscus, and one that's tobacco and vanilla. Oh, they're all nice, but different. Love. This actually smells like my Rebel Blends that I got from Agora, which is um, Tonka Bean and Vanilla. So interesting that it's quite um, quite similar. I actually don't have anything to melt wax melts. If you've got any ideas, if any of you have kind of made your own thing without having an actual Max, Max, what, what? wax melter? What are they called? Um, just let me know if you have a way that I could maybe test this out and see how I feel about it before actually investing in a dish or whatever it is. Um, worst case scenario, I will gift that to my sister or someone who actually has one of these things already. So opening up inside, it's very nicely wrapped. You've got the pink paper there. I like anything pink. I'm designed for this. The first thing that I'm seeing, I'm just going to pull out. I think you could have had two options. Oh no, <laughs> I wish I didn't know what the other option was because I would have loved that. This is the Bubble Tea Pink Mojito Bath and Shower Gel. I got the Pink Mojito, but you could have got the Pina Colada. I love, I've been talking about Pina Coladas for days, literally days. Oh, this smells really nice. You know, I would never have thought to get it. So it, that's what I like about beauty boxes is you get things that you probably wouldn't have picked. Like I would have picked the pina colada, but now I can try it out in this fun scent I would never have considered. And then if I like it, the value is £2.50. I wouldn't mind buying another one for £2.50. I think that's a really good price point. And um, bubble tea I've seen in quite a few beauty boxes. I don't really know where it came from. I just know I've seen it around. <laughs> um, next thing I'm going to pull out, what are you? This is not on my little list, so I think this might be a little added extra or an alternative for a different product, but um, 
I'm not sure. I think it might be an alternative. Yeah, I can see what's missing. So I do not have um, a wet hair balm, which is jam packed with three variations of thick buttery goodness, shea butter, mango butter and cocoa butter. That was a value of um, 10 pound. Instead, I have hair syrup, which one says the original and one says quench me. Not seen these before, so that's really interesting. What does it tell me about it? Pre-wash treatments. Okay. Nourishing, moisturising, restoring and protecting, basically. That's really cool. Vegan and cruelty free, which I love. That's fun. I don't mind that I didn't get the hair whip at all. Um, this actually is probably more of a bit of me. I tend to use hair oils and things like that. So that is Brill. Um, what is my next thing I'm going to pull out? I can't have seen what everything is now. I've got the Self Tanning Gradual Lotion with Marilla Oil. This is from Vita Liberata. This is actually amazing because I got one of these in a rocker box. Like, was it a mystery box or a, a box they'd put together? I knew it was coming. So it wasn't a mystery then. What's it, Stephanie? Logic. Um, it's one of the boxes. They did a special offer. I think I got it in a box and it was the box was only a fiver. And afterwards I thought, man, I should have got a couple because this is actually probably going to do like my body maybe twice if I'm lucky, if I want to do like head to toe. So having one to sort of build it a little bit amazing. You couldn't have predicted that if you tried. Um, next thing I'm going to show is this here. This is actually really exciting for me. I love I use the spray of this every single day. If you follow me on Agora, you already probably know. I'm a huge, huge fan of the spray. I've just bought a different serum from Too Faced as well. I'm just loving their priming for being hydrating, but without challenging my oily T-zone. Like I find it's very balanced and that my makeup just feels fresh, hydrated and glowy, not shiny. Um, I mean, you can see it just now. I, well, I hope that I look glowy and not shiny. This is me with the... Um, spray primer <laughs> so it says create a healthy complexion with the Too Faced hangover primer a replenishing face primer that works to hydrate smoothen and brighten the look of skin for a dewy finish basically everything i just said the value of this one because it is just a mini is three pound fifty but the value to me is knowing whether or not i should invest in a full-size product because this is different from the one that i'm using so if i see a good deal pop up i'll know which one's the best for me so love that um there is one that's wrapped in here and I'm so, so nervous because basically this is a Zoeva palette and I've got one already um, and I got one that has a very orangey shade in it and I'm really hoping that it's not the same one that's in here but I'm so nervous that it might be because the orangey shade just looks absurd on my fair skin. Like it really, it makes me look unwell and I got it from, oh God, it is. So it's, it's, <laughs> it is. This is not going to suit me. I'm actually not even going to take it out of the pack. So this is called Spice of Life. Um, the There's two sides. There's a highlighter side, which is actually really nice. And then there's the sort of blush side. And the blush side is this sort of orangey terracotta kind of colour. It looks gorgeous on a mid skin tone, mid to deep. It also looks good like if you've got a tan on and you're quite fair. But if you're not someone who would wear like a like a mid tan, like me, um, it's just it makes you kind of look like you've taken a wee Cheeto and just <laughs> rubbed it on your face. Like I love Zoeva, love the formulation though, and I do have people who will appreciate this. The value is thirteen pound, um, so that's like something nice I'll be able to pop in like a little care gift for someone. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> There are a potential of four shades, so you might get a different shade. Um, oh, she's actually put that it <laughs> flatters every skin tone. Um, I am ultra fair, so to put it in context, I'm alabaster. It's the shade before ivory. That's the shade that I would take um, in the Charlotte Tilbury. I was colour matched their foundations and I'm a one. Uh, I'm one one zero in Fenty. So I am very much the absolute palest shade you can usually get apart from an Estee Lauder where I'm the second one up. How exciting. So yeah, it's impossible to let suit everyone. Um, I've got two other things in here that are number seven and I don't really use number seven but these are what Holly says, says, says <laughs> um, are her Holy Grail products. So that's really cool. 
I would never have picked these up. So if I get on really well with them, that's another example of like the benefits of a beauty box. So the value of this one is £14 and the value of this is £16 according to this. Is this? This looks a bit different. Um, so the first one, this one is a lightweight gel. It's the Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. Yeah, and it works to instantly infuse the skin with fresh hydration. The lightweight gel cream with the power of a nourishing cream feels light and weightless in the skin and instantly absorbs without stickiness. And then the other one, it says it's a fresh water light concentrate designed to provide a burst of supercharged liquid hydration when your skin needs it most. I think this might have been... Sorry, I usually pause when I'm going to sneeze, but then I don't sneeze. So I thought maybe if I do that. Okay, mine's, this is different. <laughs> I did think it looked different. Um, I don't know what the value of this is. I'm so sorry. This is actually, it's a, a day lotion. Oh, because it's on dodgy. Are you okay, sis? I don't know if you guys can see that. What's going on here? Oh, I have no idea. Just the one that's not, like, it's fine. It's the, this is an outer tube and it's got the tube of the product inside. <laughs> okay. I can't even build, I don't know. That was a faff. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, so this is actually different from what I just read, but it's a similar idea. This is um, SPF 15, which is not high enough. Uh, so you would need to still use your own SPF with it. It says it'll give you visibly fresh looking and glowing skin within one week. Um, and I guess this is probably around the same price as the item that I don't have in here. Um, which was the water concentrate, which I read out as though it was this. So the total value of this month's box would be 30, 40, 46, 50. Whoa, 50, 60, 70, 48, 49. Oh my God, my math is so bad. 49, 50, 53.75 roughly. So very good value for money. If you did want to go ahead and get this month's box. Um, like I said, if you're not an extremely fair skin tone, if you do wear a little bit of tan as well, like it'll go well with like bronze shades, this little palette. I can put it back in this now, I'll worry about that later. Um, and everything just seems like it's really good. And that little extra, on its own is an absolute delight. Please do let me know down below if you've got ideas of how I can test it out without investing in a wax burner. Is it a wax burner? After not knowing the word earlier, did I just throw it in there? Brilliant. <laughs> um, I hope that you like this. Sorry it was a little bit confusing maybe. Um, that was my bad. I should have read the product name in advance, especially since I knew that another one had had to be like um, substituted. So, I can only apologise. I am still trying to struggle with this bubble wrap, even though I said I'll sort it later, because, you know, I just can't give up. <laughs> I don't know when to quit. Ah! If you're interested, I will put the link down below so that you can go ahead and subscribe yourself. Um, if you have any comments or questions about the products that are in it, any suggestions for me, any boxes you think I should try that you haven't seen me unbox yet, just any questions in general. Um, please drop them in the comments below. I literally love it. Like I can't explain the absolute joy I feel when someone's left a comment and you can have a bit of a, an hour, or a bit of a conversation with someone. I am tempted to do lives. I asked this in a previous video and I'm not sure what the sort of response is. If you're interested in seeing like get ready with me lives or just having a bit of a chat. Um, I don't even know what else I would do. Like unbox things on lives. I could do all of that to be honest. Let me know what you think. Um, I kind of prefer the sort of interactive model. Um, thanks to anyone who was watching my live in Agora today. Very first one, it was super exciting. If you want to see more content from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.